I had been to New York to see this piece at Mark de Suvero's studio, and it was quite an experience because he had it stationed in his yard right on the edge of the river, and I could step back and see it through the sculpture against the skyline of New York. I build the pieces for themselves. They, as I start, I have an idea, I do a drawing, I go from the drawing, I burn the drawing in the steel, I then weld it, and the piece suggests ways that it can continue. And that's what I do. The wonderful thing about Origins, in particular, because it is a kinetic work, the fact that it's called Origins, it does suggest sort of beginnings. And um, I think in, in some ways you could suggest that this is, with the, the expansion and with this um, installation, that it is um, sort of a new beginning um, for the museum. So I think, I think a lot of people will, will take that title in, in different ways, because I think it does have so many um, possible suggestions. You know, there, there's that constant, that, there's that constant change in the sculpture itself, which then I think will, I hope, you know, encourage people to really, to really not just pass under it, but to really experience the work and, and to move around it and to, you know, to think about how that sculpture uh, impacts that space. And, and that really is, I think, so much of what his work is about, is that relationship. Um, to the, to the viewer. I was asked to be head of the sculpture committee. We needed to do what the Courier had always done, which was to go for a signature work of great quality that was a landmark of its kind. We knew, because we had worked very hard on the collection's development plan, that we were looking for a significant piece of outdoor sculpture by an internationally renowned artist. I think the real fun will start when people are able to walk around it, through it, under it, look up, because it is much more than the view you get in the pictures. It is a living thing. We wanted uh, a piece that would represent the courier and represent the new courier and the old courier at once. We wanted a combination of permanence and exuberance. We wanted something that would say, this is the new courier, but this is the courier here to stay. But the whole idea of trying to find that which is motion and moves people and is has its own relationship to uh, the wind and the uh, and the sight uh, that is one of the reasons why uh, we who are public sculptors do the work. I think it's really cool to see him install the piece. I've seen finished works of his before in sculpture gardens and I think it's really interesting to see how he supervises and how they handle it with care. It's not a complex piece. It's a piece that we believe, or I felt anyway, was a very accessible modern art piece. Uh, not a piece that, if you're not a student of art or if you're not, you know, um, a connoisseur of art, I am not. Um, this was a piece that still, you know, you stood there and you looked at it and you just were interested in it. I love seeing the dimension of the sculpture compared to the building. The orange picks up the orange roof tiles. 
of the building and to see the height of it in comparison to the trees. And just to see the, the way it fits together, the way the organic and the structural fit into both an organic setting with the trees and the architectural setting of the building. And it's a wonderful um, segue, I guess, into the museum because of those elements. The way that this, uh, particularly this sculpture and its placement, will really transform the experience that people have when they come to the Courier. I mean, we've, we've never had an outdoor work um, at the museum. This is the first outdoor sculpture at the museum, and its placement in, in this entrance court that, you know, essentially everyone that comes to the museum will pass around or more likely pass directly under the sculpture and really have that experience of, of a work of art before they even enter the doors. And I think that, that, uh, that that's really going to be sort of transformative in terms of, of how, people, how people experience the courier. I think we, we really found the piece that honors um, our industrial past, that really honors the citizens that made the city of Manchester what it is. And they were the mill workers, and they were the people who worked um, in the Amoskeag manufacturing mills. I think that the site is very beautiful because of the way that uh, it's surrounded by certain height buildings and the location that it did within that kind of uh, planting that is going to be there with the uh, landscape architects with the work that they did. Uh, I think that it was a very, I think it's a very sensitive and a beautiful choice and I'm very happy with uh, where the piece has become permanent. I've seen this in pictures and it's just incredible, the magnitude of it, the moving parts. I think it looks like a pretty big project and it'll be really cool to have right here in Manchester. We wish that people also would feel that kind of movement that relates to clouds or stars or all those things that we see in the sky. I'm not much of an interpreter. I don't, you know, I don't know what Marc de Souvero wanted or was expressing. I just look at that and I say, that's a terrific piece of sculpture. <laughs>